Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I've got one talking about goal setting and long term goal setting in particular and how you can achieve your goals and keep yourself accountable. So if you are new to the channel, my name is Sarah Louise and this channel talks all about scoliosis and spinal fusion. So this goal setting also links to managing pain, managing your scoliosis spinal fusion or if you have um, some other type of um, pain or you want to manage your pain then this video might also be helpful for you. Um, it might also be helpful for you if you are just looking at ways to um, goal set and keep yourself accountable. So I'm going to be sharing my screen in this video and talking about how I goal set and how I've changed from goal setting being goals that I usually actually wrote down in my notes on my phone. I used to write the year and it used to be kind of like New Year's resolutions, but I always used to keep them at the top of the notes in my phone, like pinned to the top. And those were my goals for the year. However, within that, I had no way of breaking those goals down into more achievable steps. So that is why I have started using Notion in order to um, make a goal, but then also be able to break it down into more achievable steps. So I'm going to start sharing my screen with you now. So this is my Notion template that I have made. So I created this from scratch on Notion and it is quite an easy process. They have lots of templates, but I just decided to go with something quite, um, quite simple. Um, I quite like it being quite simple, quite clean, um, something that I can easily look at. So if you are interested in that sort of thing, then I will um, yeah, leave a comment and I will be sure to make another video about that. And also, if you haven't already, um, make sure to check out my habit tracking video. Um, so that's about making daily habits. So as you can see on this goal setting, I have um, wants to do with my PhD. So I'm currently a PhD candidate. I have my professional goals. So that is career and um, what I'm looking to do next with my job. I want to own my own house, get married, and then I'm going to be going into a bit more detail about these um, four bottom things. I have another YouTube channel which is more related to my PhD, but I don't want to get those two conf confused on this platform as this is solely to do with scoliosis, spinal fusion, pain management, that sort of thing. So here, if you have come over from my Instagram, you will know that I have an Etsy business to do with um, scoliosis and spinal fusion. So in there, I have to grow, grow that Etsy business. And the ways that I, in which I need to do this is to um, make sure that I'm posting reg really regularly on Instagram um, to bring out a couple of new products each year and another one for Instagram is to post a reel a week. So those three things I feel are really achievable goals and that is good, that is exactly what we want. We want these goals to be achievable. We don't want them to be things that we could never achieve or things that we could only achieve in five years time. We want them to be attainable in order to keep yourself motivated, motivated to achieve those goals. So just a quick one, the way that in which that I would monitor at the end of the year that I have grown my Etsy business is kind of a tricky one. I guess I could go off sales or I could go off reviews um, or I could go off how many, um, how many prints I have on sale. Um, it's quite a hard one. I guess I could also use my stats, but for now, it's only a small business and um, I'm not looking to like expand majorly. It's just something that I really love doing. 
So for now, that is fine to just stay like that. The next one is to also grow my YouTube. So I obviously started this YouTube channel last year. Um, I was really infrequent on it. Um, I posted quite a lot and then I didn't post for quite a while. So I just want to be consistent on that and actually provide meaningful content that will hopefully help you. So I want to film and edit and post one video a week. I feel like that is achievable. Um, and then the next two, um, I guess they're not really for the next year. Like I do not think I will be getting a thousand subscribers. Or oh, if you're watching this and I have done, then I am very happy. Um, but yeah, they're, they're more long-term goals. This first one is the one that I want to be doing. I want to be just posting regularly. Health and social. So I've kept this quite short. I guess I could add a lot more to this and I might do in the future. But my first one is to see my friends at least monthly. So I have a few different um, friendship groups, which I can see and I guess I just need to make sure that I'm seeing them at least um, monthly. This is something that um, is definitely achievable. It's not unachievable and I think it would just be ridiculous if I wasn't seeing my friends at least once a month. Um, but you know, sometimes life just takes over and you're just going um, weekend after weekend without any plans and it's also when people are free. So it's an interesting one. Um, and then the next one is about lowering my heart rate. Um, so this is something that I might talk about more in a next video, I guess. Um, but just to quickly let you know, um, following my spinal fusion surgery nine years ago, I have actually been suffering with really high um, heart rate um, ever since that. Um, it's something that I have been struggling to lower at all. Um, my resting heart rate is at um, probably just under 100 beats per minute. Um, this is quite bad and I know that it is and it's been this way for nine years. Um, and it's also something that I guess the doctors aren't taking seriously because of um, my age um, and because I am not overweight or unhealthy, that sort of thing. So they don't really see it as an issue, whereas I do. I'm quite worried about it. But I'm going to see that by, um, by going to the gym more, by getting a little bit fitter, hopefully I can lower that. But if not, I need to be pushing the doctors, you know, for more answers. And then I have the last one, which I guess is the most um, specific, and that is to do with my spinal fusion. So I have these, I haven't said before, but these are all tick boxes and I won't be ticking them off, um, but because I am on my computer on a daily basis, these this will be something that I am looking on a daily basis as well as my habit tracker that I previously mentioned. So the first one is to do my physio exercises daily, do my stretches every day, go to the gym three times a week, go outside every day and monitor my pain levels. So all those five things that come under spinal fusion are also something that I talk about within my habit tracker. Um, on here, it's just so I can reflect um, at the year, I can maybe go back and look at my pain levels. That is something that I really, really think is really important because um, I need to be getting those pain levels down to more manageable levels. At the minute, they are okay when I am in the house doing work from home, but I just know that that's not going to be the case forever. I'm not going to be lucky enough to be able to work from home um, for the rest of my life. So I need to be getting those pain levels down when I am out all day. So I'm just going to close that. So to sort of relate this back to yourself, I think it's really good to um, think about a year's time, to think about five years time and to think about where you want to be. Um, not only that, but then by breaking those down into more achievable chunks you can actually keep yourself accountable and um, 
look at them and be like, I, I do need to be doing these posts. I do need to be doing these exercises. Um, so it's a good way to keep yourself accountable. And I think that's something that is really important because at the end of the day, nobody in your life is probably going to be telling you, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to be holding yourself accountable and looking out for yourself and um, being a true friend to yourself. Um, so I hope this has helped you and I hope it's made you think about perhaps how you might um, goal set for this upcoming year or you might do shorter, more incremental goals and then look how you might actually implement these steps into your life. So I just want to thank you for watching and if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe for weekly scoliosis spinal fusion content and leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts on this or have any thoughts about future videos or have any questions you want to ask me. Uh, maybe you're going through spinal fusion um, soon or you have scoliosis. Yeah, so just comment whatever you want. I will definitely get back to you. And yes, hopefully I will see you in a future video.